Rockstar recently updated the Newswire to talk a little bit about their latest upcoming release, which is scheduled for this Tuesday, a game known as Grand Theft Auto V. Aren't you just elated about this? Yeah, neither am I. But as much as I want to speculate about GTA 6 after they dropped that reveal, right now I think I want to talk about something that's just a little bit more tangible. This is at least the first time they've given us some additional details about this in quite some time, and I know a lot of people were getting a little suspicious from how little was being shown off about this game. Yeah, it's the same game, but what about the addition that they initially referred to as Expanded and Enhanced is so Expanded and Enhanced? Well, I hope you didn't get your hopes up too high for what this edition might actually include. I remember when there was once a time that I thought it could be the PC version on consoles, but given how they called it expanded and enhanced and they seemed to really want to hype this up, maybe there's going to be more to it, especially if they're going to be selling this to us again. But no. They have made that pretty clear that it is going to be the PC version on consoles. But hey, for the people who care enough about this, you're still going to be getting stuff like new graphics modes that include 4K resolution and ray tracing at 30 FPS on fidelity mode. The game will also run at 60 FPS on performance and performance RT mode, faster loading times, better particle effects, improved lighting, and much more. And what exactly is much more? I have no idea, but they said this last month when they talked about this, and last September when they showed off the first footage of it. So, I guess it's a marketing term. But as time went on, I think it became more clear that this was not going to be as big of an update as many of us were initially hoping for. By this point, if anybody is still expecting any kind of major upgrade to the story mode or the map or anything that really screams expanded and enhanced, then I wouldn't hold my breath on that because I feel like they've already got the main selling points down already. If the game really was getting a substantial story update or a map expansion, they probably would have mentioned this all by now. So, what do you think? For those of you who have been following this since it was first announced almost two years ago, do you think you're going to buy this game again? I know we get a host of new technical upgrades like 4K resolution, 60 FPS, haptic feedback on a PS5, increased vegetation density, yada yada yada, but some might say this almost sounds like the kind of stuff that would be part of a free upgrade. You know, like if you already own the game from the previous gen consoles and then play it on a current gen console. Like what Capcom are doing. They're expanding and enhancing three Resident Evil titles to support 4K resolution, 60 FPS, haptic feedback, and 3D audio, and all are going to be available for free to people who already own these games on PS4 and Xbox One, who then upgraded to a PS5 or Series X. It does look a little better, but how different is it actually going to feel compared to the last gen edition? My guess would be not much, but hey, at least it's not $70. They didn't mention the price until a few days after they dropped these details, but it's going to launch on sale. PS5 players will get it for 10 bucks, Series X owners get it for 20 and the sale lasts until June, when the prices then go up to $40. By the way, according to Kate Onder on Twitter, they are definitely not referring to it as expanded and enhanced anymore. It's just GTA 5. They used that tagline once, and everybody ran with it. You gotta admit, though, it was pretty catchy, but I think they might have realized that they oversold it. Not to mention the backlash the trailers received on this. Before YouTube decided that we can't have our feelings hurt when we could see how many people disliked our videos, there were a lot of people who made it clear just how displeased they were with us all. This could be part of why we heard so little about it for so long. Given how long we knew it was going to take to come out even back then, and how we got the words expanded and enhanced in big bold letters in that trailer, I think a lot of people really wanted to hope that they were going to do something really exciting for this. I myself am really not all that interested. As a Series X owner, while it's only 20 bucks, I still don't know if it's worth the 85 gigabytes of space that it'll take up. I've already played this game before, but that's my opinion. What about yours? Do you like the updates, or were you disappointed? Do you think the price is fair? Let me know what you think, and thank you for watching.